What enduring qualities do you think make the 1977 TV series 8 as enough an everlasting symbol of the industry? A classic family drama, this show captured the hearts of viewers with its relatable tales of the Bradford family. As we take a trip down memory lane, you might find yourself wondering, out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? We invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's dive into some random facts about the show to pique your interest. 8 is Enough was a beloved American television series that first graced our screens in the late 1970s. Based on the real-life memoir of Tom Braddon, a journalist and father of eight children, the show introduced us to the chaotic yet endearing world of the Bradfords. Running for five seasons from 1977 to 1981, the show featured Dick Van Patten as the widowed father, Tom Bradford. He played a role that many could relate to, trying to raise his eight children after the loss of his wife. A diverse cast of characters, each with their unique personalities and quirks, provided endless moments of family drama and comedy. Eight is enough touched on issues of the era, from the challenges of blended families to the cultural shifts of the late 70s. seconds. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to depict the ups and downs of family life with warmth, humor, and a touch of nostalgia. So, which Bradford family member was your favorite? We'd love to know. And don't forget to share your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this iconic TV series in the comments below. The tragic loss of Diana Highland during the production of the spring 1977 episode sent shockwaves through the cast and crew of the popular TV series. Her untimely passing forced major adjustments and a shift in the storyline of the show. Diana had managed to film just four episodes, brilliantly portraying the role of the loving mother in the Bradford family, leaving an indelible mark on the early episodes of the series. In the wake of her passing, the show's creators and writers had to grapple with the delicate task of addressing her absence on screen. To navigate this challenging situation, they decided to write her character out of the remaining episodes of the season by having her character be away from the family. This served as a respectful and thoughtful way to pay homage to her memory while keeping the story coherent. When the series made its triumphant return with new episodes that fall, audiences were met with a poignant and significant change. Tom Bradford, the patriarch of the family, now bore the weight of being a widower as his beloved wife had tragically passed away roughly a year prior. This adjustment in the narrative not only honored the memory of Diana Highland but also brought a new layer of depth and emotional resonance to the show. The death of Diana Highland was indeed a heartbreaking moment, both for the cast and the viewers, but the show's creators handled the situation with grace and sensitivity, ensuring that her legacy lived on within the series. It's a testament to the adaptability and creativity of the television industry when faced with unexpected challenges, as they managed to seamlessly blend the real world and the fictional one, creating a memorable and heartfelt tribute to a talented actress. This poignant chapter in the show's history remains a touching reminder of the impact of Diana Highland, even years after her passing. The TV series 8 is Enough from 1977 was notable for its ensemble cast and family-oriented storyline. One interesting fact about the show is that for the first four seasons, the writing staff effectively balanced the screen time among the Bradford family members. However, in the final season, the character Tommy, played by Willie Arms, took the spotlight due to his popularity with adolescent female viewers. As a result, regular cast members like Grant Goodev, Susan Richardson, and Lanny O'Grady had reduced roles in the show. O'Grady's character, in particular, nearly disappeared from the series. This shift in character prominence also led to the divorce of David and Janet, as Goodev was frustrated by his peripheral presence and wanted to return to the central focus of the show. This change in character dynamics during the series' run is a noteworthy aspect of Eight is Enough, reflecting the evolving priorities of the show's creators in response to viewer preferences. Laddie O'Grady's connection to another popular family sitcom and the age differences among some of the cast members further add depth to the history of the show. These aspects help shed light on the dynamics both on and off-screen in this classic 1970s TV series. In the 1977 TV series 8 is Enough, 
An interesting behind the scenes fact is that during the first couple of seasons, an instrumental theme was played during the opening. However, in later seasons, a new theme with lyrics was written and sung by Grant Goodev, who played David. Goodev sang the theme song in one episode. This change in the show's theme song added a unique touch to the series and is a notable aspect of its production. Additionally, in a 2000 interview on the True Hollywood Story, Dick Van Patten, who portrayed the show's patriarch Tom Bradford, revealed that he learned about the show's cancellation from a newspaper rather than receiving a direct call. This demonstrates the sometimes surprising and abrupt nature of show cancellations in the television industry. Lastly, Rob Lowe's autobiography Love Life sheds light on an interesting connection to the show. Dick Van Patten owned an apartment complex in Los Angeles called Patten Place during the show's run. It was known for its low rentals and served as a haven for young actors, including Ralph Macchio, who lived there while co-starring on Eight is Enough as Tom's troubled nephew. This tidbit offers a unique perspective on the living arrangements of the show's cast members. These facts provide intriguing insights into the production and aftermath of the popular 1977 TV series Eight is Enough. The 1977 TV series Eight is Enough was based on the 1975 autobiographical account of newspaper editor and columnist Thomas Braddon. They changed the name from Braddon to Bradford, making it sound more all-American and less ethnic. The character Tom Bradford was later ranked number 33 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. It's interesting to note that the first name of the book's hero, Tom, remained the same, as did the first names of the mother and the eight children. However, one peculiar incident involved Mark Hamill, who was initially part of the cast but didn't like the comedic direction the show was taking. He had decided to honor his commitment but was involved in a serious auto accident the night the pilot aired. This accident left him with serious facial injuries, forcing him to quit the show. Hamill has stated that the extent of his injuries was only a broken nose, but some have speculated it might have been an excuse to leave the show. Eight is Enough was a family-oriented series that followed the lives of the Bradford family and it remains notable for its portrayal of a loving father figure in Tom Bradford. The show was based on real-life events, although with some name changes. While it had its share of challenges, it made its mark in the world of family TV. As we close the final chapter of our nostalgic journey through the 1977 TV series 8 is Enough, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique connection you forged with this timeless show. Much like the Bradford family, our own lives are a tapestry of moments, experiences, and emotions. Eight is Enough taught us about the joys and challenges of a large, diverse family, and it's in those lessons that we often find echoes of our own lives. The laughter, the tears, the triumphs, and the sepics, all these moments mirror the intricacies of our own family dynamics. As we reminisce about the Bradfords, we can't help but recall our own cherished memories, both heartwarming and humorous, shared with our loved ones. What were your favorite episodes and which characters touched your heart the most? Did you find yourself identifying with any of the Bradford kids or parents? Perhaps you've learned valuable life lessons from the show, or maybe it's just a warm, comforting presence from the past. Whatever it means to you, we'd love to hear your thoughts and memories about Eight is Enough. Share your reflections and stories in the comments below, and let's celebrate this iconic series together. After all, it's in sharing our experiences that we build a stronger sense of community and connection, just like the Bradfords did. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of Eight is Enough. Your time and interest are truly appreciated, and we look forward to hearing your unique perspective. Until next time, keep those memories alive, and keep the nostalgia alive.